Alrighty, this is a four fracture, and we're gonna be doing a exhaust cutoff. It has the Chayote engine. <laughs> we're gonna see how it sounds. <laughs> see how it sounds right after we're done. <laughs> All right, there she is. This baby. It's gonna go like this. Right, there it is. The muffler is cut out. We're gonna put the baby in there and do the hardware alrighty I'm back working on the four rupture with the Chayote engine uh, let me turn the light on I'm also doing the power steering pump here's the old pulley I didn't know but the new pump comes with a new pulley guys and girls that's like what four gives you a pulley already so Oh, and the cutoff is already in there. It's already welded. He has a beautiful bead of peanuts. Um, good stuff. Good stuff. Uh, we got John over there taking out the, the hood on that 6.2 diesel, not the aspirator that we we're talking about, that we're gonna do the conversion on. I'm gonna go ahead and put the rupture, the rupture truck up. So I can show you guys where the power train pump leaves and so I can also show you fellas and pals um, the cutoff. It's not, I'm not, I haven't done uh, wiring yet. But there it is. Phew, phew. Beautiful, hidden, out of the way, out of the heat. Um, it's gonna be fun. I'll post a video once um, once I got it running and stuff so you guys can hear it. Well, I don't know if you guys can see but the, the pump is right there and the screws are like all the way down there. So you have to kind of play contortionist for a couple hours to get this sucker running. It has three screws, he has one on the top right behind the pulley and he has two behind and you gotta take the line out of it. The line that is just with the bracket. Gotta take that one off and it's one right next to it as well. So it takes some patience. It, it's, it's quite out there. Have a good, great day, God bless you. Alright, well here I am, upside down, with my feet somewhere. Again on the Odyssey of the 2013 uh, 4 rupture. Um, on the accessory lights, or the auxiliary wires. Alright, so this is one of my auxiliaries that I have left on it. Uh, you can see this wire. That one right there. Alright, so that sucker, I need to strip it. So I need to get my stripper wires in there. And cut it. Well, not cut it, but strip it. Now, you have different colors for different accessories. But I am on the passenger side underneath the glob like on the side panel or like on the kick panel if you you call it that now I'm taking on the trim just so I can have some axes you're gonna have excuse me you're gonna have this fuse panel right right here and then if you look okay so this is your door right that's your door that's your speaker and then you pull the, the weather strip and then this is your your uh, your pillar here's your fuse box and right underneath there there is your wires you can see like that green one that green one right here that it has two wires I cannot even get my fingers in that has the two wires you see with like uh, let me take that here you see those two wires okay so that's that's the wire that comes back from your auxiliary by the battery it comes back here and you have to plug him, you have to splice him together. You put him together over here, and then the power goes back outside, and then you assign a fuse. I'll show you that once I get to that. To that. But anyway, I have to take all this stuff over here because I'm upside down, the truck is on the lift, and I really have like no space whatsoever. Um, yeah, I'll make another video once I, once I get out of here and I'm underneath the engine bay video of the four fracture there is the switch 
pretty quiet. You hear the winds? The she's. is done. Oh, she's my phone is super blurry and dirty. Well, there she goes. She's out. She's out and about. Sorry, but I, I mean, I've been working on a transmission for the past four hours, so I expect my phone to be dirty. 